welcome back everyone, Toys is here, and I am back at the end for some McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse news. Now, typically I would wait until we've accumulated a few more figures to talk about, but this one in particular, being that it's a mega figure, it just warranted its own mega video. It was recently revealed a few days ago at a Phoenix convention. Todd McFarlane took to the stage, gave us the usual spiel about how, well, the Spawn movie's in the works, and look... I don't doubt that it's in the works, but with the recent landscape and the various success of animation, especially with X-Men 97, and then of course you have Invincible, Robert Kirkman, Image, make Spawn, if you're going to do Spawn, just make it animated. It, it, it's just, it works so much better. The world of Spawn is too nuts. I've said before as well, if you want to do a Sam and Twitch television show in the vein of the X-Files and then pepper in Spawn, and if it gets popular, spin it off and have Spawn. Yes, that would be cool. I think you can have a lot of fun with that, but Spawn is just too out there and you have to explain what you've seen the 90s movie it's awesome it's great but they really chopped up what spawn was from comic books to then having it be live action and i don't want to see that so i think that in terms of animation you get away with it you don't have to do a continuation of the hbo show do it over start it over change some of the story put in new ideas totally cool with me but i just think that visually man oh man i think that that would look Great, so that's my thoughts and feelings on <laughs> Spawn. But hey, you're here for some DC Multiverse news. So as always, before we get started, if you're interested in this figure that we're talking about, I will have pre-order links down in the description below. Thanks for using the links, helps the channel to grow, yada yada. Jack Kirby, I'm sure you've heard of him. Please tell me you've heard of Jack Kirby. Fourth World, even before that, Fantastic Four, X-Men, all that stuff. He was a fantastic artist, visually, just wow, can't believe it, and he really did a number on Marvel and DC. He is the guy, he's the king for a reason. Hey, did you know that he designed superpower toys like Darkseid? Yeah, that's pretty cool, right? Cape, little medallion says D. McFarlane Toys is bringing that back, and I could not be more stoked. I think that this looks amazing. So this is the new DC Multiverse mega figure, Dark Side. And you gotta do the Michael Ironside voice whenever you say Dark Side, of course. But the cape, the blues, head portrait. That looks really cool. I'm actually really stoked on it. To be honest with you, though, I would not necessarily say that's a Jack Kirby design. I would say it's more in line of what Jack Kirby, of course, created with Darkseid, the superpowers line, all the artwork that's really coming together to then present this new Darkseid. I would say it's a little bit more George Perez in some cases, which is totally not a problem. Jack Kirby will always be associated with Darkseid, but just in the very idea of this figure, I would say that, yes, it's very much the essence of Jack Kirby, but various other artists over the year to create this new type of classic looking dark side. And I got to tell you, I like the cape. No, I don't think the cape is removable. In fact, that medallion looks like it's lodged way in his chest. So, no, I don't think that it uh, is going to be coming off anytime soon, but it's a wired cape. It's got a nice sheen to it. And believe it or not, there's extra head portraits in the box. So you have the standard dark side, you have the Omega Beam dark side, and I love with like how they've presented that with the eyes. It kind of has that little like blip on one end, then you've kind of got the Cyclops sizzle on the other. That's a cool way to do it. It's not the usual. We've seen it a dozen times where the eyes are shooting out. I don't need that. He's powering up. He looks mad. He's getting ready to attack Superman, and for that alone, I think that's great. We all know later down the road, they're going to do more dark sides. They'll paint him all black. They'll askew the cape. They'll have new head. You know, that's just the whole MO with McFarlane toys. But for now, I like this blue and gray caped superpowers inspired George Perez, Jack Kirby. Everything is just in there. And I totally love it for that. I don't, however, like that he has veins on his arms. I think that that's the one thing where I'm like, 
Yeah, if he has more, like, don't get me wrong. He has the craggy skin, but Dark Side doesn't typically have veins. You know what I mean? Like, if they would have been sculpted more in terms of a Jack Kirby kind of black outline kind of deal, that would have worked. That would have been more in the vein of, so, no pun intended, more of that craggy skin that Dark Side has, much like you see on his forehead and such. Is it a total deal breaker? No, but as soon as I saw it, I was like, yeah, that's, that's not really, he doesn't really have like veins like that, or at least just that's not how I see it. That's not how the artwork is to me. But again, is he still cool? Yes. Also in terms of superpowers, the gloves usually went around the wrist. They weren't totally up towards his elbow. So that's another little change. But again, it just looks awesome. And I love the fact, extra head portrait, extra hands. That's the way to go for a mega figure McFarlane toy. So I'm giving you a little golf clap for that so I don't ruin the audio on this wired cape. This looks like a mega figure. This looks like the more expensive DC Multiverse figures we have been wanting. He's a giant figure. Uh, bravo. I, I honestly think that this is going to be great. Sure, I would have loved a boom tube box, right? That would have been very cool to have. Or, yes, you could have had the jutting out eyes as a clip-on effect. Something like that. But for what they have done, what they've put in this giant box that is usually empty, extra head portraits, extra hands, wired cape, solid, huge figure. That's a mega figure if I've ever seen one. So, that will wrap it up for my quick thoughts and ideas on the new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Mega Figure, Dark Side. The superpowers, blue and gray, classic looking Dark Side. I'm stoked. Definitely be grabbing this. But as always, I'm curious to know your thoughts. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, going forward... Now, which of Darkseid's minions would you like to see them tackle? Would you like to see Desaad? Would you like to see some Parademons? Granny goodness. I think that's what I would definitely like to see. We'll see what happens. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.